Today we received an iPhone 13 from the state of Alabama that comes to us with a Wi-Fi issue. Sometimes the Wi-Fi isn't detected at all, or at other times it has a very low signal. As you can see, we have enabled the Wi-Fi and it does not populate any connections nearby. However, if we wait for a little while, it will eventually read a connection, but with low signal. So our first step here is to separate the two motherboards. We disassemble the device to get the motherboards out of the housing. We apply solder and add flux to the 5G antenna to remove it. Then we use solder wick and alcohol to clean the area. This is followed by placing the motherboard on the preheater at 220 degrees Celsius for about three and a half minutes. Then we remove the motherboard and let it cool off by placing it in the smoke extractor. As you see here, we have the upper motherboard and the lower motherboard. Once it's cooled, we begin to clean the traces from the upper layer motherboard. We apply flux and solder all around the perimeter, which will facilitate the cleaning of the traces once we use the solder wick. Now we go around the perimeter with the solder wick, making sure all the traces are clean and flat. Here we notice there are missing traces. We check with the multimeter on diode mode if these are ground. If the traces are ground, we do not have to recreate them. However, if we get an OL reading or another number, then we know we have to run jumpers. In this case, the missing traces are ground. Now we get the lower layer motherboard and repeat the same procedure. We use solder and flux around the perimeter and then follow through with the solder wick. Once that is completed, we use alcohol to clean any leftover residue. Do you want to learn how to do this and other micro soldering repairs? Visit our website for our upcoming five day training schedule. We also offer private one-to-one -one classes. For more information, visit us at www.cellphonerepairacademy.com. Now we have this tool that allows us to test the two motherboards together. It will tell us if the problem was a connection issue or if there was another source to the problem. We connect the screen, the charging port, and use the power supply as our battery. And once connected to the charger, we turn on our device. As you can see, the device populates many Wi-Fi connections nearby. So this tells us the issue was due to the impact, and it has been properly repaired. Our next step will be to resolder the motherboards together. We are going to use this stencil for the iPhone 12, which will help us reconstruct the solder balls. We apply solder paste on the stencil, making sure to fill in all of the holes. We clean the leftover residue with the tip of the blade. Then we place the cover over the stencil and place it on the preheater at 220 degrees Celsius. We apply heat to assist in creating the solder balls. The reason why we place the motherboard on the preheater is to preheat the lower motherboard. With the heat gun, we make sure the solder balls are correctly shaped and we make sure to go around the perimeter. We add flux and install the upper motherboard onto the lower motherboard on the preheater at 200 degrees Celsius for about three and a half minutes. We let that cool down and as you can see, it is fully attached. We go under the microscope and attach the 5G antenna. We apply flux and clean it out one more time. We align the new antenna and apply heat at 250 degrees Celsius. Then we reassemble the phone and bench test it to see if it all looks good. And as you can see, it does populate many Wi-Fi connections. We are going to input the password to this connection to make sure it gets a strong signal. And yes, here it is. This repair has been successfully completed. Thanks for tuning in.